I saw for King Chong back again at Kitchen of Dreams with yet another attempt of a rum review. The one I'm going to do just now is a Cuban rum. It is rum. Rum, 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 rum. And it's a Havana and it's the Antiho Especial Cuban rum. 80 on a Richter scale. That's 40% alcohol to all you other guys out there. And Fejo means aged. This apparently has been aged in whiskey casks. Doesn't say for how long in a bottle. I've been cheeky and I try to read the bottle, but and then I had to ask uh, that crab at Bird Alexa that I live with, how do you say Anfejo? Anfejo. <laughs> this is getting worse than that other one I've done with the Havetha. <laughs> I'm not going down that road again. So anyway, let's get the Havana Club. I've never had Havana Club before. I've heard people rant and rave about it, uh, saying it's really, really good rum. I've never. So I got this in Tesco today, and uh, it was on special. I think it's normally about 20, 21 pounds a bottle, and I got it for about 17 with the old club card. Get the old club card out. So you know, let's get a little bit of the especial rum. Well, you can tell right away it is aged in whiskey cask. It's got that lovely whiskey. Uh, sort of look to it. So let's get the cork back on the bottle. There you go. Very, very much looks like a whiskey. Uh, so anyway, let's go in for a nose. Oh, it smells divine. You can, firstly, you can tell that it is really, really strong on the Richter. You, you know this is going to be a, a really strong, strong superior rum to some of the ones I've tried so far on my rum dis my rum discovery lovely hint of vanilla a little bit of spice obviously the oak of the whiskey barrel coming up I would love to know what the whiskey barrel was going with this it would probably be something like I don't know maybe bourbon or maybe some sort of sour mash whiskey. It smells absolutely divine. So anyway, so fucking drunk. Going to drink a Havana Club. And and then all <laughs> aged especial 80 on the Richter scale. Or 80 proof. 40% alcohol. Slangy bar. Let's see what this is. Uh, Kubaliba. Apparently, well, so is that, does that mean free Cuba? What's a Cuban problem? Problem. Cuban product, that's what I meant to say. I've not had a drink yet. Sanjeeva. Cuba Libra. Oh, <laughs> firstly, that is absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely superb. Lovely soft glide over the tongue. The oak on the nose. I thought it was going to be a bit oaky on the taste buds. Not for me. I do like my oaky whiskies and my uh, smoky whiskies, but I thought I was going to get a little bit of that in the rum. Uh, very, very smooth. Lovely subtle vanilla note running through it. Almost like a little bit of honey in the background. Just maybe ironing out a little bit of that oak. Uh, give it a little bit of sweetness. The vanilla as well. Absolutely outstanding. I recently had another rum from, you check it out, from Brewdog. And uh, that was the same sort of strength as this one. But this one knocks socks off it. This one's so smooth, I can't get away with how smooth it is. 80 on a Richter scale rum. Let's go in and have a little look at the bottle. 
It's uh, El Ron de Cuba, Havana Club, and it's a double the age in oak barrels. And no <laughs> Especially Cuban rum. There you go, and it's getting a little rum stamp. Give you a little. It's got a little rum stamp on it. In the back of it, it says. Taste of vanilla. Yeah, you get a little bit of vanilla. Double aging in, in ex whiskey casks. Enjoy with cola. Oh my god, don't put cola in this. Fresh with lime and the ultimate Cuba for the old Cuba, Cuba Libra. Apparently, Cuba Libra. I don't know if this is true or not, but Cuba Libra, everybody knows it as a Bacardi or a rum and coke with lime. But apparently, it was a toast they'd done through the revolution. Answers on a postcard if anyone knows if that was true or not, or did I just dream it and make it up? But there you go, there's the back of the bottle as well. This is outstanding stuff. I've really gotten into my rums this summer. Last year it was gins. Uh, last couple of years it was gins actually, and this year it's just I've taken a, a move away from the dark side. I used to be like dark rum, and now I'm experimenting with more different rums. And do you know what? I'm, every time I pick up something that I've never had before, I get more and more impressed with it. Uh, this is a, an outstanding drink. For me to put lime and cola and ice in that, it's an absolute waste. Uh, but then again, there is a lot of people out there who like the heavy content of the alcohol. Uh, I'm a whiskey drinker to heart, and to be honest with you, I drink my whiskeys uh, with a little bit of dash of water, and maybe a little bit of cube of ice in them, just to sort of like give them a suggestion of putting something in them. I like the harshness, I like the, the gravel, and this hasn't got that for me. This is pretty sweet, obviously it's rum. Uh, it's made with the sugar, sugar cane or molasses or whatever, whatever the the, the distill uh, method of it. But this is absolutely fantastic stuff. Seventeen pound a bottle. I can't get away with how that's even twenty pound a bottle. This is worth every penny. Out of Tesco. I think all oh, likes of Tesco Morrison's is probably your Asda. They all do a Havana Club, but I think there's a few kicking about in the UK. That is the first one I've ever seen. Uh, well, it's the first one I've ever bought. It's a lie. I've seen a few. I think every supermarket's maybe got a different variation of Havana Club. It'll be something I'll be going back to anyway. So is it one I'm going to drink again? You better believe I'm going to drink this again. I'm going to try them all. Everyone I get in the UK, I'm going to try them all. And put my thoughts out here on the rum discovery section of Sofa King Drunk. Um, it's... Wonderful drinking, absolutely wonderful drinking. So anyway, what am I going to give the Havana Club, the Special Al, and hey, oh, <laughs> aged, aged rum, uh, 80 proof, that's 40, 80 on a Richter scale, that's 40% alcohol to all you guys that maybe discovered my review of this. I'm going to give that a Sofakeen drunk rating of... I'm going to score that heavy, I'm going to give that a 9 point, no I'm not, it's not, it's because it's out of 5 I do it, isn't it? I'm going to give that a 4.99 out of 5. Nothing ever gets top marks on my channel, if you if you know that. Every, there's always something better out there that I've not discovered yet. So my recommendation is yes, you would crash that, You get, that is dangerously sessionable, believe it or not. I'm going to have another couple today, I've got a heavy day tomorrow, but having said that, I bought this today, and I knew when I was buying it, I was going to review it, and also it's a bit of a celebration, a life-changing celebration. So anyway, Havana Club, if you've had it before, the age one, and then, huh? <laughs> you liked it, you didn't like it, drop a line below. And if so, if you stay to the end of this video, so can drop so let you know if we're catching another one. Anejo apparently is another term used in tequila. I knew that because I've been to Mexico and I've drank anejo, which is, is, is aged in whiskey barrels. It's got a whiskey type colour to it. But that's for another video. Sanji Va, keep drinking the good drums out there. Discover them. Ciao for now.